Hello, this is Dear T Shock, and I'm here with Evil Midget 38. Hey guys. And this is first of many uh, tutorials that we're going to make on bucket plugins. So in this video, we're just going to show you how to set up a workspace, download Eclipse, and download Bucket. So the first thing that you want to do, open up your web browser, go look up Eclipse. We'll go to Downloads. And then you're going to want to download the IDE for developers. So you do that, download this, whatever. There's, you there's multiple different versions you can download too. You don't have to get the EE version. Just whatever suits your fancy. There's all sorts of options. Yep, plenty of options. I use this one. Evil Midget uses What one do you use, Evil Midget? Uh, two down, the two Eclipse down? IDE. Okay. I use EE because that's what I saw in a different tutorial. So. All right, so the next thing that you want to do is once you download and install that, you're going to want to download Bucket. So you go to dl.bucket.org slash download slash bucket. So Evil Midget, you want to explain the builds? Okay, so when you're downloading the builds, you're probably going to want to go with the beta build, 1741. But there's also developmental builds. It's highly recommended not to use developmental builds because these are the builds generated from the latest changes in GitHub. And the bucket team, there's a big tendency for things to change. And if you use a developmental build, you might build using API that ends up getting removed or getting renamed, and then your plugin's broken. So beta builds generally guaranteed that stuff's not going to change. Yep. So essentially, you recommend beta build or even a recommended build if you really want. So all right, so we got bucket, we got Eclipse. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into Eclipse. You're going to create your workspace. I already created a blank one. Then you're going to want to go to New Project. And then you just want to make a Java project. And then, all right, this is where you do the project name. This is where it will save it on your computer. So we're going to call this one First Plugin. All right, and notice how I do it. I capitalize each letter of each word. We're going to follow naming conve conventions for projects, even just with the project name. And we're using Java 1.7, even though we recommend building into Java 1.6, just because a lot of servers only run on Java 1.6, and you don't want there to be incompatibility. Yeah, I think the latest metric statistics I saw was like still 20% of servers use 1.6. So it's a big chunk, but it doesn't really matter. I yeah. mean, if they're running on such an old and outdated version. Tell them to update. Time to update. So, all right. So we're going to create the project. My super fast computer. Whoa. Yeah. Let's do yes. That. So we're just going to click yes. All right. Cool. So. All right. We're going to close out these random windows. All right. So now you have your project. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into right click on the properties and we're going to add bucket to the build path so then what you're going to want to do Java build path or my libraries there we go add external jars and then I have mine 1.5 bucket right here this is the latest beta not the one I just downloaded I had downloaded it before press OK all right, so now Bucket shows up in your reference library. So here's all the stuff within Bucket. Uh, make sure that when you're um, downloading building against Bucket, you're using the latest version to make sure you have access to the latest features. And also make sure you don't build against Craft Bucket, because then every time you want to import something like item stack, you'll see two classes, the internal Minecraft item stack and the Bucket item stack. And all you really want to be concerned with is the bucket item stack. Yeah. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the package. So what we're going to call this is we're going to call it com.buck that. So generally what uh, you do is you name this. It's backwards of your website name. So we have buck that.com. So we're going to go with com.buck that. Then we're going to go with first plugin. Plugin. So, all right, we're going to finish this. Also notice that everything is lowercase. That's the Oracle convention for package naming. Do follow it. People do care about conventions. Yes. This makes your code easier to read. 
All right. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we are going to create just a class. So all you have to do is a new class here while your package is highlighted there. And then um, for class naming conventions, you want to capitalize every single word. And for the main class, it's going to be the same as the plugin name. So we're going to call it first plugin. Then we're going to hit finish. And then here we go. Here's our first class. So in the coming videos, we'll show you how to code. But for this one, we just want to show you how to set up your workspace, how to download Bucket. And that's about it. Thanks.